Oh, this guy got a freaking problem with me or something? What's up, buddy? I'm just kidding, by the way. You are you look like a fine gentleman. Or gentle woman, depending on the skirt choice there. He sure is mean mugging me, though. Like, I don't know what your problem is, buddy, but you need to get out of my way. Buster Brown, I got things to talk about. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm gonna talk about the RuneScape news. Today we got the new Gillenor Gazette for October. So if you're unfamiliar, basically the Gillenor Gazette is sort of just like an overview of all of the past months, like biggest updates, changes, maybe things they haven't really talked about y just yet. So one of the big things that was happening this month from October 2nd all the way to October 12th was the Game Jam. Previous Game Jams have led to things like the Perilous Moons that we've just Discovered the blood torva cosmetic update, which is great. I've never had it. I don't have it looks cute, it's cute. I, wish I could get it, but I'm I don't I uh, LMS and even ooh Forestry hot topic forestry. That's a good one. Nice game jam there Jagex. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm joking I'm not so we as of right now haven't seen what they've cooked up for this uh, this most recent game jam The theme for this quarter's jam was apparently all focused on sailing which we'll see almost everything that they came up with in November. So we definitely haven't seen what they've been uh, cooking. I almost even forgot that sailing was even a thing. It feels like it's been so long since they've talked about it. I know it really hasn't been. I've never been, if you watched my previous video on sailing, you probably hated it. I'm not like the most excited about it in the world, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Hopefully we'll get to see kind of what they've been developing behind the scenes. You know what I think my biggest, excuse me, sir. I'm recording here. <laughs> Can't you see I'm filming? My biggest concern, honestly, with the new skill is how are they going to put it on the skill tab here? Uh, like, they're going to have to reorganize the whole thing. They're going to have to either make some smaller or, because, like, the total level spot, maybe they'll move it to, like, your character page. No, I don't want to talk to Alana. Maybe they'll move it here or to your uh, description page like this. But I'm, I'm, that's what I'm genuinely, and I'm not even like trolling here. I'm genuinely curious. So the first part of Valamore, they say, will focus on something called the Avium Savannah, the Illus Fortis, which I'm going to assume that's the Fortis Coliseum. And it's going to include three big updates. So we already know about the Hunter's Guild, the Fortis Coliseum, like I just mentioned, and the Perilous Moons, which we just learned about not too long ago. And they also say there's some kind of rework in the plans. So I'm wondering if they're going to be reworking Hunter as a whole. I know in the Hunter's Guild post, they talked about how there's not many different unique ways to train the skill. So, if they end up reworking Hunter, that would be sweet. Hunter's one of my favorite skills in the game, not only because it's one of the OGs that passed from, like, back in RuneScape three days before, you know, they got summoning and all that stuff. I really always enjoyed training Hunter. Stay tuned for our chance to vote on the rewards from the Fortis Coliseum and the Perilous Moons. And then they give us some sweet, <laughs> some sweet concept art. I don't know what these are going to be about. I think it's going to be one of the new animals that we can hunt. Uh, I think they talked about an elk, or maybe it has something to do with the Perilous Moons, just because of the crescent that's going down their little antlers, and it looks like it's going into their body, which I don't know if that's going to be like something you harvest from them, I don't know. Uh, and then they have the reworked crossbow, which looks kind of cool, that's like the hunter's crossbow, I'm assuming, because right now, at the state of the game it's in, it does basically nothing. And then they even have some of the rework, they, they were talking about reworking a lot of the hunter gear. Like the uh, the armor that you can get from skinning the like the Lurupia, the, the the Grok. I don't remember the names of them, but the uh, like the hunter beasts that you get the cloaks from, the the capes, the feathered capes, the ones that make you like lighter weight. Looks like they've got redesigns for some of them, at least the concepts. So that's pretty interesting. I'm uh, I'm admitting that looks interesting. Not a big fan of some of them because it looks kind of uh, basic. So all the hunter stuff looks great so far. Like I said, hunter, I'm all about it. If they rework it. I'm, I'm curious to see how they would do it. I don't know what else they would be reworking because it would just really go with Valdemore and what they're already expanding with. It would really mesh with what they're talking about, especially with the Hunter's Guild. They talked previously in the Hunter Guild news post about like hunter contracts, similar to farming contracts, of course, or like slayer tasks, or maybe the rework is more similar to like a task section where you get to choose which kind of beast you want to hunt instead of like having a set like you know, at level 55, you get to hunt this beast. At level 66, you get to hunt this beast. And then, of course, they go over Leagues 4, Trailblazer Reloaded one more time, just to give you a quick recap in case you missed it, right? And then they showed us some of the things they've already talked about. I covered a lot of these already in the Leagues video I made. If you want to go get a refresher, you should go check that out, baby! So they're able to show off some of the things that they have planned, like the animation here for the upcoming League, which looks pretty sick. And League starts on November 15th, just in case you didn't know the release date. There you go. You're welcome. You don't owe me anything, dude. You don't owe me nothing. Just, uh, just to say thank you. That's all.
I'm just a, it's a selfless act, really. I'm just kidding, by the way. And then they go over those area, the chambers of Zarek changes. They talked about them at the Summer Summit, and they're expecting to launch them later this year. So that's pretty great. I mean, they've got two months left. With leagues happening next month, they're going to be really jam-packed. And they mentioned this in a previous news post as well. They've got so much going on. That's kind of why the Halloween update was a repeat this year. Now, here's something that is interesting to me. They talk about a mid-level PVM boss looking to bridge the gap between low and mid-level bosses. This new PVM encounter is looking to kickstart players' bossing journey and provide a fun way to get into grips with more advanced combat. So I'm thinking Obar. I'm thinking, uh, what's the moss giant one? Bryophyta? Bryophyta? <laughs> Girl, let me see your Bryophyta. No, that's weird. Stop. She's a moss giant. They talked about, I think it was even maybe Mod Ash, or maybe Mod Goblin. I don't remember. One of those familiar sounding mods. They talked about a mid level boss, or even like a free to play boss similar to Obar. Obor? <laughs> I don't know. The, the hill giant boss. But it was more of like a rat king. And then they kind of touch on this right here. They say, we'll release more details soon, but until then we can tell you that this boss will be extremely accessible. Well, I'll be the judge of that, Jagex. I'll be the judge of how easy it is. <laughs> and it uh, it may well be inspired by a certain rodent themed Game Jam project. So I think that's exactly what they're referring to. And if I could find the tweet, I would bring it back up here. But I have to dig through so many Jagex mods, I can't seem to find it right now. But I, uh, I do remember them talking about this last year. Okay, now I brought back to the game here just to show you really quickly my forestry achievements. If you watched my forestry part 2 video, thank you so much for watching that, by the way. I appreciate your support on a, a very hot topic debate, or update rather. And why am I talking about this now? Well, because the next part of the Gillen Orgazette that we're about to go over very quickly here is some of the forestry part 2 feedback suggestions. And you can't see me, but I'm using suggestions with air quotes here. Alright, so last week we released Forestry Part 2, encompassing new events, new rewards, and a cozy new way to train fire making. Like two out of five of those are okay. The events, there's a lot of them. The rewards are pretty great. I like the two-handed dragon axes, I'll be honest. But the new way to train fire making, while it looks cool, I love the ability to sit down and rest at the fire. I don't know if the new way to train fire making is exactly necessary, but if it's cool for other players, if it's chill, if it's AFK, that's what matters the most. Now, they say that they've been closely monitoring our feedback, and here's some of the changes that they'll be releasing in the next week's update, which I'm assuming means tomorrow, since tomorrow is Wednesday. They are going to change the XP from creating the pheasant spoon from mining to crafting. So there is an item you can make, and it's kind of blown up all over Reddit, uh, but where you can basically bank stand and gain mining XP now. Now you have to buy these things, and they're very expensive for very little amounts of XP, but you were able to basically train your mining without leaving the bank. And uh, so now they're changing that mining XP to crafting and reducing it even lower. So it's really, really not worth it if that's how you were planning on training your mining. Plus, they've already got shooting stars that have uh, been buffed and nerfed and buffed again and then nerfed. And then all kinds of changes happening. They're not, you know what? Maybe, I just had an epiphany, maybe the rework they're talking about is mining and not hunter previously. But I doubt it. But maybe. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting even further. Rest assured, we've seen that the feedback for Forestry Part 2, and we believe it's worth revisiting all of those conversations and addressing them correctly without rushing into quick and immediate changes. Now, I'm trying to think about what they might be referring to there, unless it's just Forestry Part 2 as a whole. I was so certain, like 98% certain, that that whole update was not going to make it to the game. Now, they proved me wrong, and I'm glad they did, because I like the axes, and I like some of the things they've done with it but I really don't think most players share that same opinion. It's important for us to make sure that they, you feel like this content is in a good spot, and that it's not something that we want to rush. But it's already out, though. We're hoping to speak to you all soon on the next steps, and we're doing to improve forestry and some of its biggest issues. Now, this, this sentence right here, just to clarify, there is not, and this will not be Forestry Part 3. <laughs> Please, players, listen, we're not making a third part. Don't come at us, bro. We're not making a Forestry Part 3. But we won't be rushing it, but at the same time, they're not going to make it take ages. So I guess they have a pretty big uh, revamp planned for Forestry Part 2. I don't know. I guess this is them saying they're not done with us yet. They got two more for us, but not a Forestry Part 3. That is just like a comeback story of champions. Alright, and then to finish up here, they give us a little bit of mobile TLI, they tell us some of the things they've been reworking with the UI now that we've had chances to participate in the beta. Now I'll be honest, I don't play this game on, on mobile, and I probably never will. If you do, that's great, I mean, I'm not judging you, I'm just, uh, it's not for me. I can't, uh, I can't play this game on the computer. <laughs> I can't possibly comprehend playing it on the, on the phone. 
And then the final thing we're going to talk about here is one of the few quality of life updates from Pole 80. So they say that the last few updates from Pole 80 are coming to the game very soon. But they want to talk about a very important one. One that I actually forgot about that they mentioned. And that is Lava Dragons. So they look like the guys here on the left where it says OG. Original Gangster, Original Lava Dragon. Now... They had proposed to change them because they thought that they didn't quite match the look of old school. They thought they looked a little bit too, well, new school. So they proposed a change to the Model A there. One in the, in the middle there, with the red. Looks completely different. And as you can maybe guess, the, uh, the, the players, us, they, uh, they didn't like it. They didn't think they were quite good enough. So they proposed another alternate version, which combines elements of both the old and new designs. They're on the right, with letter B. Now, it looks pretty cool. His, uh, his wings look like the fire cape, like the cheese cape, if I uh, were to reference that. All right, so see what I mean? There's the cape. Now back to him. Now back to me. Now back to him. So yeah, it looks kind of similar. I guess it's not quite as a bright orange, but it looks like the lava cape design at least. Now, I like the letter B model way better than the letter A, the one they proposed previously, because it looks just so different. I mean, it looks completely different, which I guess isn't necessarily always a bad thing, but the OG model to the one they proposed the first time was just too drastic of a change. Now, I really like model B, but if I'm being honest, if I can just be honest with you for one second, just hold on, let me be honest, okay? I liked the original model. I thought it looked okay. Now, here they are down in-game. You can kind of see them down there if I make it a little bit bigger for you. You can see them down there. So they have, you know, placed them. They, they, they're they kind of hard to see. They kind of blend in if they left them the original model, but maybe that's what they're going for is some uh, secretivity. I don't even know if that's a word, but then they give you a survey, the easiest survey of all time for you to vote on which one you prefer, not the OG, I guess you can choose neither, but uh, if I'm going to be a, a voting man, I'm going to click the one that I, oh, you're welcome, dude, you're welcome, it's, it's the least I could do. Now, that's pretty much all of the new stuff they have to talk about today. So, while they didn't really have anything groundbreakingly new, I still thought it was interesting to talk about, especially as a nice little roundup for the end of the month. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys and girls think about some of the things they have proposed? I can't wait for Leagues 4. It's only a couple weeks away. You better be getting ready. You know I'm going to be coming at you with all kinds of content for the Leagues 4, baby. What do you think about the Valamore updates coming? I'm excited for the Hunter's Guild. Maybe a, a rework to the hunter skill? I don't know. I forget that sailing is a thing. Sailing's coming soon. Whether or not you like it, it's coming just like me. Hope you enjoyed, guys and girls. Thank you so much for all the support on freaking everything. It's been a crazy month, and I owe it all to you for tuning in, for liking, for leaving a comment, good or bad. Okay, Joseph, I see the bad comments. I see them, Joseph. But I appreciate them nonetheless. Any feedback, any constructive criticism, any criticism, bye! I'm just kidding. That's not how I'm going to end it. But thank you so much for all the support. Good or bad, I appreciate reading all your comments. I try my best to read all of them. Uh, and I try my best to reply to all of them as well. Especially if they're good. Now, if you call me out, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to come back at you. I'm going to come at you. I'm going to come back at you hard. So be prepared. If you come in at me, I'm going to come at you. But if you leave a good comment, I'd love to see I'd love to read it and I'd love to be nice back to you. Bye.